Hi Taurus, thank you for being here with me. I'm going to shuffle the cards three times and then we're going to get right into your reading. What's happening with Taurus spirits? One more shuffle, Taurus. We have the Five of Cups. So someone's feeling sadness over a loss. Death is here. Okay, death is showing up in reverse. This is Scorpio energy. So something here seems to be over, but it's not really over, Taurus. Death is in reverse. So something's being delayed. And if you look at the Five of Cups, there's someone here who's feeling a lot of sadness, a lot of regret, but there's still two full cups behind this person that are still standing. And with death being in reverse, something is not over yet. There is sadness. It's the very first card. We have the Devil, Capricorn Energy. There's an attachment to a particular person here with the Two of Cups that are still standing that someone doesn't want to let go of. Someone's still holding on. Okay, we have the Chariot. So you could be dealing with a Cancer. But something's getting ready to happen here. This is the fastest moving card in Tarot, the Chariot. And the center card of your reading is the Empress. This is you. The Empress is you. Someone's very attracted to you, and I'm seeing them moving towards you, Taurus. Um, someone doesn't want to let go of you. And then we have the Two of Wands. This is also a stuck energy at a crossroads, standing at a crossroads. I feel like neither one of you want to release this connection. You can both energetically feel each other. Six of Cups. This is an ex, someone from your past that keeps thinking about you. We have the Nine of Wands. This person's, um, they're not giving up. It's someone who just does not want to give up. They don't want to release you, Taurus. This is the wounded warrior. This is worth fighting for to this person. Five of Swords. This is something that um, that this person, like I told you, they're feeling defeated here, but they're not releasing you. They're stuck. Okay, so let's start up here and clarify the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here, spirits? We have the moon. Be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. The moon is sadness. Yeah, there's so many energies here of someone. This could be a Pisces. Of someone feeling stuck. The sun is in reverse. You could be dealing with a Leo. There's sadness here. The moon is here. There's darkness. To be dealing with an Aquarius, I just saw the star card. 
But someone wants this new passionate beginning with you, with the Ace of Wands. They're very, very, very sad energy. I can feel it as I'm reading this reading. And they're wanting to come to you with an apology, but they haven't done it. This is being delayed. It's in reverse. The Page of Cups. This is a message that's in delay. Why is death here? The Four of Wands in reverse. This could be someone that you were married to, shared a home with. There's another stuck energy. Someone's been waiting. Someone's been here waiting for someone to return. And with the Four of Wands, this this is someone that I feel like you were married to or shared a home with in some way. There's no celebration here. The Four of Wands is in reverse. There's a message being delayed. There's no closure. The two of you are both feeling sad. No one's taking action. This person you're dealing with feels like their hands are tied. They feel blindfolded. They feel in the dark. They're not sure what to do. Someone doesn't want to wait anymore. There's waiting here that has gone on for a long time. Why is the devil here? Devil, Capricorn energy. Someone could be dealing with a Capricorn. The Ace of Swords. The Five of Pentacles. And the World. This person could be at a distance from you. Taurus, with the World showing up here. But Five of Pentacles. This is blocked communication this person's feeling left they feel you leaving them behind too much time has went by but they still can't release you they realize this but i'm seeing you getting communication from this person with the ace of swords they are going to make the effort and cut off these blindfolds whatever is making them feel stuck and I'm seeing them, this is the fastest moving energy in tarot, the chariot. This person's taking control and moving towards you. You're, you're right here. This is Taurus energy. So you can see right here, this person's moving towards you. Why is the chariot here? The nine of cups. The king of pentacles. This could be someone who owns their own business. This could be a Gemini. This person sees you as a wish fulfillment, Taurus. Again, they're looking right at you, male or female. They see you as their wish. And the lover's hair is in reverse. So the lover's is a choice. This person sees there's no choice. I need Taurus. I don't want anyone else. I want Taurus. Why is the Empress here? This is a twin flame soulmate connection that the both of you can feel. Look at this. The king and the queen of wands. A matching pair. But there's this. We have the star. The hangman is someone's feeling like a victim. 
but this is their wish fulfillment. They're feeling stuck. They're feeling like a victim. It's sitting over both of your energies here. I'm seeing this person is going to take control and rush towards you, Taurus. The Knight of Swords is here now. This is someone just hastily saying, okay, I'm just going to do it. There's no choice here. All I want is Taurus. Why is the Two of Wands here? The Knight of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles. And the Seven of Wands. So there's a third party here that was involved. This person's not involved any longer. They're showing up in reverse. Seven of Wands. This person who's coming towards you, they're feeling very guarded, defensive. When it comes to this Queen of Wands, this, this third party, it doesn't have to be a lover. It could be family. It could be a mother. But they're in reverse. And this person ha is coming towards you right, Taurus. They're coming towards you as the Knight of Pentacles. So this is a very slow energy showing up here, finally arriving. Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? The Hermit. The Ace of Pentacles. And the Fool. When this person arrives, Taurus, this is going to shock you. You're not going to be expecting it. We have the Two of Cups sitting next to the Tower. This person loves you. They're showing up here as the King of Cups. Someone who doesn't wear their heart on their sleeve. This could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. The Hermit, Virgo energy, or Aries. We have all the signs here, Taurus. I'm just telling you the significant ones. Okay, so what's happening here with the soulmate connection is, because this is a soulmate connection, I feel like you both have been in hermit mode from each other, and there's been no communication here. No one's taken a leap of faith. The fool is in reverse. And um, when this person rushes in, they want to offer you it all. This is someone who's done some deep inner work and they know what they want. They know what their choice is. And then we have the Nine of Wands. There's something here that has left them feeling stuck and I'm seeing it being released from them. Why is the Nine of Wands here? The Ten of Cups. The Sun. Page of Wands. See, this person walked away, caused a tower moment. It was a very painful, very, very painful with this connection. This walking away, whether it was you or whether it was them, there was no closure. And the reason we have the Nine of Wands, this is someone not willing to give up, is because this person knows that you are their happiness. The Ten of Cups is happily ever after. This is good news. This person comes to you with good news. They're not happy without you. The sun is in reverse here. They're not happy without you. Why is the Five of Swords here? The Ace of Cups. The Six of Swords. The Four of Swords. This was a marriage or a committed relationship. This person that you're dealing with, Taurus, they may, be, may not have much money or much stability when they show up. But the Ace of Cups here is in reverse, and they're moving away from someone. 
they're moving away from a third party, whether it's a family, another lover, whoever this third party is. There's arguments. There's no loot. There's no winning with this third party. And um, they don't want to fight anymore. They're putting their swords up on the wall. They don't want to fight anymore. They know what they want. There's no choice here. They want Taurus. Okay, so let's see what this person wants to say to you, Taurus. I'm just going to shuffle the cards one time to get the energy going through. You're dealing with a Pisces. They're saying we were not right for each other. So many things remind me of you. These are very, very direct messages right here. So take these as a grain of salt. Okay, Cancer. I am different now. Scorpio. I scared myself that day. Aries. I am happy that it's over. Let's get another one for Aries. I hope you're happy for me. Leo, we need to let each other go. Leo, I will wait for a sign from you. This is also Leo. Sagittarius, I'm waiting for an apology. Aquarius, I'm sorry. Libra, I want you, Gemini, I lost myself for a little while. Okay, this is Taurus energy. This could be you or if you're dealing with a Taurus. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Virgo. I know that I crossed the line with you. I am not available. Capricorn. I wish I could share my good news with you. Aquarius. I wish I had treated you better. Libra. I don't really know you. Gemini. I fear that you will reject me. I'm going to do one more row for Aries. I don't need your approval. Leo. I know we have a soul connection. Sagittarius. I want to tell you so much. I'm going to do Aquarius, Leap, or Gemini because I can't remember if I did them or not. This is Aquarius. I, bear my, I bury myself in work to forget you. Libra. I couldn't tell you face to face. Gemini. The timing just wasn't right for us. And for everyone, I left when I saw you with someone, 
and I've been struggling as a separate message. Okay, and then let me just get your Moonology cards for advice, Taurus. Sorry about that. I have been so busy, Taurus. You wouldn't believe how busy. So I kind of got confused there on those messages where I left off. Okay, let's get some advice, Taurus. Advice for Taurus spirits. Okay, we have the energy is gaining momentum. What do you need to release? See, something's speeding up in your energy, Taurus. So there's, there's something here that you need to release. Because the energy is just going to speed up faster. Something's going in your favor. You have justice on your side. So this is something that you know deep down inside what this is. What you need to release. And your hard work is paying off. And things are going to start moving very quickly for you. Don't let pride get in your way. Thank you so much for being here with me, Taurus. I love you guys. I appreciate you so much. I appreciate all of your comments, liking, subscribing, everything you guys do for me. And um, I will see you guys tomorrow for your daily reading. Namaste, Taurus.